Hi everybody. Um, I've got my two granddaughters here. Kristen's my photographer. Cadence is my model. So I promised you a video on mapping. Now straight away you guys getting this. I'm at my granddaughter's house. I'm not in my studio and we're not tattooing Cadence because she's not 18 years old. So we'll just get all that stuff out of the way, right? This is about brow mapping. So Cadence is a really good model and I didn't even notice it until we went to brow map her because she actually has one eyebrow that's a little bit higher than the others. And of course, we're not supposed to have twins. We're always supposed to have sisters and I never even noticed that on you, but you're, you're very expressionary. Show them how you can move your eyebrows. <laughs> so they're never sitting still long enough for me to notice. So I always start eyebrow mapping with my clients sitting up like this. And then that's what I would do is I would notice that one eyebrow is higher than the other and I would put a mark, okay, knowing where that one is. This is where we'd have the talk with the patient, like Cadence, which eyebrow do you like better? I like the higher one. Which is perfect. Especially, obviously we're not tattooing her, but when you're tattooing older clients, you want to keep the space between the eyebrow and the eye open, okay? You don't want to close it in, so you naturally would probably tend to go with the higher eyebrow. So while she's sitting up, I want to get two dots that are going to be pretty even when I look at her, okay? So this one I'm probably going to bring down just a little bit. I'm going to actually be into the hair on this one, and I'm going to be above the hairline on the other one, okay? So we got her nice and even there. Um, so you guys all know this. This is pretty simple, but I don't do all the lines that you see because I feel like you do all those lines, and then that's crooked, and what line do I get rid of? All I do, you guys, is we do this, right? And, and Cadence is young, so her eyebrow's starting right where it should and it's starting right where it should on this side. Now, if the nose is too big or too crooked, then I use the inner canthus of the eye. So I can mark where hers are gonna start. And that's just following right down to that inner canthus of the eye if I take my pencil down, okay? Now you can always start the forehead, look at the nose, look at the center of the lip, and just kind of put where the center of her would be and if you want to then you can double check this and make sure that you're right on okay and so for this one i would start this one over just a tiny little bit okay so that that measurement is perfect now i'm gonna decide where i want to end the brow and you guys all know how to do this and of course cadence is young so hers ends right where it should end Okay, and I'd make my mark here. Now for the transition area, we all know that we're taught to do this. Go ahead and open your eyes, honey. So come right through, right? I always look at that and then I look at where the hair comes and where the hair starts to go down and mark her natural brow, okay? Then if you want, this is the ruler I always use because then you can take a look at the numbers. So we're right about 29, 30. And if we measure this, Okay, we're right about 15, 14, okay? Because you really want this to be two-thirds of your brow and this to be a third of your brow. So that's something to remember. But you, I can tell I've done so many by looking at her that this is going to be spot on. That's going to be a nice brow for her, okay? So then a lot of people tell you to measure the other side. I don't because you never see that symmetry in the face. So this is just my personal way of doing it. I take this measurement and I just transfer it over to this side, okay? And I make sure that I start to see where her hairs are coming down. I take this measurement because she liked her higher brow. So this is the brow that she likes better. And I bring it over to this side. And of course, like I said, she's young. Hers is ending right where it's supposed to end. Okay, at this point now, I go ahead and I lay her down just because I think it's easier to hold the skin and draw the brow, okay? So this one we're gonna wanna bring up higher. So we're gonna wanna start this side a little bit higher than this side. And then I literally just draw. OK, 
okay, and follow the natural hairline. And this side, we want to come up a little bit higher because that dot's a little bit higher. Okay, and then I just come from here down. From here, and I'm kind of backwards because I'm normally on the other side of the table, down, okay? So I've got my ending point. And this, you guys, you know, this can be more round, it can be more square, it depends. Generally, you're gonna just kind of follow their natural brow or that supraorbital ridge. And this one we want it a little bit higher. Okay, so Katie, I'm gonna have you sit back up now. Okay, I love these little lip pencils, if I didn't say that already, because they're just really easy to get rid of the excess. I'm so OCD that if one of my white lines is higher or thicker than the one on the other side, it bothers me. So I wanna bring this down. <laughs> but this side, I want to be a little bit thicker because this side, we need it to come up a little bit higher. Okay. And she's more rounded. Okay, so see how we've kind of evened her out now? We don't have one that's a little bit more higher than the other. We've kind of, go ahead and move, do some of your funny faces again, see how you relax. Very nice. Perfect. And with her, it depends. I like this part and this part. Again, I try to follow that two thirds rule as close as I can, but her transition, I really could move this over a little bit if I wanted to, but we're going to keep going here just because this is a, about just the mapping itself. Okay. So now what I do is I kind of decide, you know, look underneath where that brow is going to end on the bottom. Okay, now at this point, I have her lay back down. And if you guys use a ruler and you get used to doing your brows, you'll start to realize, now notice the zero doesn't start at the end, but you'll start to notice that your brows are, you know, 0 0.8, 0 0.7, 0 0.6, something like that. So you take and you make sure that you've got those drawn the same, and you do. Okay, once you decide how thick this is gonna be, then you decide how thick you want this. So if you're at a 0.8 here, 0.7, you might want just a 0.5 here, or again, just go by their natural brow, or if you wanna make it a little thicker, or you're taking some of that hair out of there to open it up and you're making it a little thinner, okay? Now I do what I did just like on, can you slide down just a little bit? <laughs> Thank you. Now I do just what I did on the top, okay? I take this point and I bring it, bring it right up to there, and then I take it from there down to here. So I'm really, you guys, just connecting the dots. I've measured this one, so I know I wanna come to that dot. So I go from the dot back down to my starting point, and then I come down. And I'm just kind of doing this quickly, but if, if we were really tattooing her, make sure this was all cleaned up. Okay, go ahead and come up, Katie. Okay, so now you can see if you look at her, we've kind of evened out the height of them. Okay, so we, we're starting right, starting right. This measures this, this measures this, and then from the arch there to the tail are even on both sides, okay? One thing that I always do, you guys, when they're sitting up is I make sure to take this eye to tail measurement because I wanna know that when they're sitting up 
that's gonna match and it matches the other side perfect, okay? So it's kind of a visual thing because depending on how thin or thick your pencil is, sometimes they can still look a little bit off, but once you get a little experience doing it this way, you're gonna be good. If you look at her brow and you look at what we have drawn, you know, if you take the measurements on this side from white to white, you should just be able to come over to this side and go white to white, okay? And your whole brow should match. Um, then there's one other thing that I do do, you guys, and I'll take a surgical marker and I'll just kind of go along and mark it on the white, make sure I'm right in the white. And what this does is it's just a little, makes it a little bit easier to see, okay? Because sometimes the white, especially if you are in their hairline, is hard to see and the white gets smeared. Okay, and then when we look at her, again, we notice where we start, where we stop, and then I go ahead and I do the same thing on the bottom. And it's really just a double check. Not only that, it's gonna help your, keep your guide so you're not gonna lose your border. Okay. And then there she is. So that's my brow mapping, you guys. Just as a recap, it's really simple. I've tried to learn all of the lines and you have the crosses and all that stuff on the face. I've tried to do it that way. My brain just doesn't work that way. I need to do simple. So I start here, decide where I want my arch, decide where I want my tail. I make sure they're even across the top. Once they are, I do my measurements, draw across the bottom. We're ready to go. All right, that's how I do it. Thanks, Kristen, for being a photographer. Thanks, Cadence. <laughs> Bye.